This is the story about the Trinity test and how it nearly set the whole world on fire. <laughs> In July 1945, this strange vehicle called Jumbo was rolled out into the deserts of New Mexico. It's not the bomb. In fact, it's a casing in case the atomic bomb didn't go off. What a lot of people don't know is that there were two possible outcomes of the first nuclear test. Possibility one, the bomb didn't go off and the core would be retained inside this casing. And the terrible possibility number two is the bomb would incinerate the whole planet. Robert Oppenheimer led the Trinity Project from Los Alamos. He had to make the bomb work, but he had to assess all the possible outcomes of this first explosion. Oppenheimer was warned by the nuclear scientist Edward Teller there was a measurable possibility that any atomic fission bomb would cause a fusion effect and incinerate our planet. And this was taken seriously. A secret report was commissioned to look at the risk level of an incinerated Earth. All good engineering projects have a safety factor, but under the immense stress of World War II, the safety factor for the first atomic bomb was only going to be one. Oppenheimer was seriously worried about becoming known as the man who brought death to the world. But at 5.29 a.m. on July the 16th, 1945, the world's first atomic bomb exploded. I think you can see the relief on Oppenheimer's face in this classic clip. Relief that it safely went off and the explosion was contained. But today, I'm going to tell you the secret truth about how the Earth could have been incinerated. Edward Teller lied to Oppenheimer. He knew the truth. The tiny fission test in the Trinity explosion was never going to set off a worldwide fusion effect. But Edward Teller knew it was possible with his device. At the same time Los Alamos was building the first atom bomb, Edward Teller was designing the hydrogen bomb, a scalable device that could incinerate our planet. And it was Edward Teller's rivalry with Oppenheimer that prompted his warning. Teller wanted his super hydrogen bomb to be fast-tracked. And after World War II, that's exactly what happened. In the first and fateful hydrogen bomb test, called Castle Bravo, the yield of this deuterium bomb was far greater than anybody expected. A hydrogen bomb is potentially a world-destroying doomsday device.
And when the Soviet Union stole the plans for the hydrogen bomb and exploded this, the Tsar Bomba. The world's biggest nuclear explosion. Humanity now had a device that was a world killer. And what I'm going to tell you now is truly terrifying. While researching this story for you, I've carefully gone over the figures commissioned by Robert Oppenheimer to check for the terrifying level of a nuclear weapon when it might cause a runaway chain reaction in our Earth's atmosphere and water. I am not a nuclear scientist and I would really appreciate your input on this, but I personally believe that the Soviet Union knew exactly what they were doing with the Tsar Bomba and chose the 50 megaton limit as a Nats under a doomsday device to demonstrate that they had the capability of destroying all life on Earth. In fact, the Earth itself. And you have to understand, for the Soviets, it makes horrifying sense. Rather than spending all that money on multiple smaller ICBM warheads, why not just have a doomsday device? And that's exactly what Stanley Kubrick was discussing in Dr. Strangelove. In his fictional film, he reveals that the Soviets have buried under the Arctic the ultimate weapon to destroy our planet. I have no idea if it was built, but I do know that the Tsar Bomber's 50 megaton came as close to destroying everything we know than man has ever done before. The sad truth is out there. Thanks for watching this chilling film. It's just the kind of subjects I really like to bring to you. Some of the film and some of the documents which you've just seen are only recently declassified. So as a filmmaker, a journalist, or you as a viewer, you need to protect your identity today. Get NordVPN with this code, prof. Simon for a 70% discount. It's really a good idea.